So we're going to begin with a basic joint and muscular bracing, and then we're going to progress into rotational activation. I'm going to give you some very simple drills that incorporate your neuromuscular system before you work out, before you go play. So we're going to prep your deep core so it is ready, strong, and activated, and you guys will be ready to fire. So I want you to take your swing trainer. We're going to attach it to a medium anchor point. And I want you to take a look. So there's some letters and numbers on here. It's G5, G4, G2, and G1. What does that mean? Well, these are hand placements. So the further you are, say at G4, away from the band anchor point, the more resistance it's going to provide, so the harder it's going to be. So the very first exercise that we're going to do it is going to be an isometric exercise. So we're going to get into a split stance position. There, I want you to go like underhand grip. Let's go G5. We're going to kind of keep it simple here. And overhand at G2. If you guys are wanting to, you can get down into a full split squat. This is going to be harder. Or keep it in a split stance position. All we're going to do from here is you're gonna keep your arms outstretched and we're gonna rotate it up. You are gonna feel your body having to fire against pulling it into rotation. So you're gonna feel your obliques fire, you're gonna feel your glutes fire. You're gonna feel the stability of your front leg having to stay like concrete on the ground. So with each of these, I wanna do a 10 count hold. So it's isometric, so we're fighting against rotation and then you're gonna relax. So we're going to go for 10 reps each side. So don't forget the other side with a 10 count hold and relax. Then I'm going to do a second set and we're going to go opposite foot forward. So now you're going to have to brace with a whole different set of muscles in your lower body. And trust me, this side is harder. We're going to do again, a 10 count hold, relax, 10 count hold, Woo! relax for 10 reps. All right, now you're going to go into another isometric hold. So these first ones are all going to be isometric. We're going to really work on firing the joints and firing your muscles. So you're going to do a neutral stance. You're going to face away from the anchor point that's going to be behind you. Let's go a G5 and G2, both overhand on this one. From there, we're going to push it out, arms fully extended, keep your chest tall, Keep your upper traps and upper shoulders down. So we're going to hold. You're going to brace. We're going to, again, we're going to do a 10 count hold for 10 reps. What you're going to feel in here is you're going to feel those obliques trying to fight against rotation as well as that internal hip rotation, creating some strength there. So we're going to go 10 count and then you can relax out of it. Again, push it up. Keep those traps down, 10 count hold, and relax for 10 reps, and then you're gonna go to the other side again. All right, now I wanna work on the next two exercises. We're gonna work disassociation between the upper and the lower body. So the first one, lower, I want you to throw your swing trainer on the ground. You're gonna anchor it down with your upper body. So we're not moving that upper body at all. We're bracing against it, but we're gonna rotate and fire the lower body through. So this is all it's gonna be, rotating and firing, just in one direction. We will then switch and go to the other direction. So we're gonna go 10 reps here, keeping those shoulders neutral, only firing the lower body. I absolutely love this exercise. If you start to feel your core shutting down and your hips are just stalling or not firing through enough. So from here, fire, get a little pause, back to neutral, fire, pause, back to neutral. 10 reps each side, and then we're going to go into a upper body disassociation. So from here, I want you to go overhand G5, overhand G2. Get into your golf posture. From there, the arms come down, and we're only going to rotate the upper body, the lower body is going to stay stable. So what you're going to feel here, again, that band's going to try to pull you back into rotation. You have to fire and fight your upper body from rotating. So from here, 
You're gonna give a little pause. I want a 10 count hold again. You're gonna start shaking after a while. That's completely normal. You're fighting it and then relax. We're creating some strength here. Rotate, keep those hips neutral. Push both arms straight out and hold. So don't let it cave inside. Push, hold, and then relax. So again, 10 reps, 10 count, both sides. Okay, the last one. I want to go both underhand grip, G2 and G5. We're going to go back into that golf posture again. From there, I want you to fire your hips through first, and then your upper body is going to hit just past the impact area. So this one I want to make a little bit more dynamic, a little more powerful. So we're putting it all together here from here. Fire your hips, and I want you to hold. Let's give it about a two count hold, and then relax out of it. Fire through, two count hold, and then out. You're gonna feel your whole entire neurological and muscular system firing in on this. So we're gonna go 10 reps, both sides, and after this, you guys will be huffing and puffing, ready to go play. I am excited to be on this journey with you. Stay tuned for the next one.